Hello and welcome to the introduction on criminology, a comparatively new course in the school which has been going for about three years. Now let me first of all introduce you to your teachers. On the left there you see a very flattering picture of Mrs Tracy Jenkins and on the right you see a true to life picture of myself uh, on a good day. Now Mrs Jenkins now will talk you through her part of the course. Criminology is a very interesting and relatable subject. A day doesn't go by where criminal activity isn't mentioned in the media and in society. So um, any student who wish to study the subject will have a background knowledge and interest in the topic studied. In Year 12, there are two units to study, one unit of coursework and one examination unit, as you can see in the table. I will be teaching the coursework unit, which examines the different types of crimes and the reasons why crimes go unreported and the effect this has on society. We looked at the influence of media on criminality and how people's perceptions of crime change due to this. We will look at criminal statistics in the area and look at campaigns that have tried to raise awareness of crime. The students also will be creating a campaign to raise awareness of a crime in their area. Hello again. Unit 2 is exam based. Three questions to be done in 90 minutes and are worth 75 marks. The main argument in criminology is whether people are criminal because of their nature, it's in their biology, or whether they are product of their outside influences, their environment. We will be looking at this. Now you can see on this slide various explanations of uh, criminal behaviour. They range from biological, from the way people look, to body shapes, to studies about twins' behaviour, to individual explanations to do with the way people copy other people's behaviour, to the way their moral values are developed through the id, superego and ego, as Freud used to call it. Now we'll also be looking at sociological explanations for criminal behaviour. We'll be looking at Marxism, uh, functionalism and the right realism, which is prevalent in America and Britain at the moment. Now we'll be using all those explanations to try and explain criminal behaviour. And some of the criminals that you see in front of you there, uh, we'll be looking at them. Of course, bottom row, not top pro criminals. In Year 13, the structure is very much the same, with two units being studied, which is 50% of the course one coursework unit and an examination unit which is sat in the summer. I will be teaching unit three. It is a very interesting unit which focuses on crime, crime scenes and what the processes are from the crime scene to the courtroom. We will look at the personnel involved and what contribution they make towards the conviction of the criminal. We will look at evidence collection and evaluation, investigative techniques used and how these results are used in a courtroom. We will also look at what factors can influence criminal cases. The Unit 4 exam uh, looks at the criminal justice system, how punishments are meted out, and how we are controlled in society to behave in certain ways. As a department, we develop off-site learning where we try to bring the course to life by organising visits to the local police headquarters, forensic houses, laboratories and courtrooms, as you can see in these pictures. Through studying the subject, the students will develop many skills, such as problem solving and evaluation skills, to name only a few, which are valuable skills when seeking further education in universities. Many of our students have gone on to study the degrees listed, but the course also opens many doors to other degrees. The subject opens many doors to many careers, as you can see in the list. This varies from working with the police, to law, to working with vulnerable age groups within the social services and NHS. Thank you for your time in listening to the presentation. If you do have any questions, please get in touch.